Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. We shall continue on the subject of proportion. For today's topic, we will look at the nozzle where we have gone through other components of gas turbine engine such as the compressor, the combustion chamber and the turbine. So for today, we will focus on the nozzle. In terms of the learning outcomes, you should be able to identify the main components as well as functions of nozzle. At the same time, explain the exhaust gas flow in the nozzle and finally discuss the materials and construction of nozzle. In terms of the contents, we will have three subtopics. The first one is introduction and then exhaust gas flow and construction and materials. For this particular video, we will focus on the introduction to nozzle. The aero gas turbine engines have an exhaust system which passes the turbine discharge gases to atmosphere at the velocity and in the required direction to provide resultant thrust. So compared to land-based gas turbine engine where the nozzle does not provide resultant thrust. The Velocity as well as pressure of the exhaust gases create the thrust in the turbojet engine, but in the turbo propeller engine, only a small amount of thrust is contributed by the exhaust gases because most of the energy has been absorbed by the turbine for driving the propeller. The design of exhaust system therefore exerts a considerable influence on the performance of the engine. So the areas of the jet pipe and propelling or outlet nozzle affect the turbine entry temperature, the TIT, the mass airflow and the velocity and pressure of the exhaust jet. Normally, the temperature of the gas entering the exhaust system when leaving the turbine section is between 550 degrees Celsius and 850 degrees Celsius. So it is still a little bit high according to the type of engine. And with the use of an afterburning, it can go up to 1500 degrees Celsius or higher. Therefore, it is necessary to use materials and a form of construction that will resist distortion and cracking, as well as prevent heat conduction to the aircraft structure. This figure shows a basic exhaust system where we look at the station where the turbine the tur turbine rear stage connected to the exhaust cone and this is the jet, jet pipe where and then at the same time uh, we have the convergent propelling nozzle so this is a typical military uh, jet nozzle construction the use of a truss reverser as well as noise suppressor and two position propelling nozzle entails a more complicated system. So you can have a more complicated system to have other functions. So this particular figure shows an exhaust system with the thrust reverser as well as the, this is the thrust reverser. Okay. And then we have the noise suppressor and two position propelling nozzle. The low bypass engine 
may include a mixer to encourage a thorough mixing of hot and cold gas streams as shown in this particular figure 64 a low bypass air mixer unit so we have the blue color stream which is the bypass air and the red arrows showing the exhaust gases that flows uh, through the um, nozzle eh? you can see there right that would be the end of this particular video we will shall continue uh, in the following video on the exhaust gas flow if, if you have any question or comment please leave on the youtube link provided thank you very much bye bye for now